Robin and welcome back to another episode of Clutch with the Fisherman and today we are doing a little cold water fishing. Let me show y'all what I have rigged up. Got a underspin tied on. Probably will also use a jerk bait at some point in this video but today I'll be fishing with my two buddies who are rigging up the kayak back here, Cam and Gavin and the weather is just un unbearably cold for South Carolina down here. It's been, I'd say, probably in the 60s to like mid 70s for the last, I don't know, three weeks to a month. And last night it got down into the 20s. It's freezing cold. We all got two jackets on, just a bunch of frozen southern boys over here. Got some icicles growing on my nipples, but <laughs> it's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a cold day. We're gonna get after these bass. They might be a little lethargic. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. Let's go ahead and hit the water and start fishing. So right now the current situation is we have some plastic stuff floating in the water here and Cam has our net tied onto his jerk bait right here trying to catch him with the net out here and the reason this is happening is because we were trying to pull the boat out of the water and switch ponds and the tow strap snapped when we got it all the way up here the boat flew back into the water. We got one. We got, successfully got one. This is this is an experience. <laughs> pushing the rod to the limits right now. Just made it out on the water. Here's one more good look at the underspin before I get started right here. Just gonna be flipping up underneath these trees, probably casting out in the middle a little bit today until we kind of figure out where these fish are. But here we go. Time to get started. Let's find us a big one. There's one. First fish of the day. And it's just a little pip squeak. Get her on in the boat right here. On the underspin, she munched it right after that other one, just didn't quite fully take it. This one came right back in, finished the job off. Good little start, pretty small fish. I'm gonna go ahead and get her back in. There, oh, back to back cast. We got some back here. Oh, oh, that was a better one. Hey, tie my drag. We got a few stacked up in this corner. <laughs> yeah. There's one. Got one. Oh, it's a little bit better fish. They're stacked up in this corner. Here we go. Crush that underspin right up on the bank. Definitely a really quality fish right here. Probably a solid two and a half, maybe three pounder. Oh, maybe bigger than that. Look at that. That's a chunk. That's a chunk. You can net her if you want. Yes, sir. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a fat. That's a fatty. Oh, you got one. Doubled up. Ooh, this came right off in the net. That fish was barely hooked. Take a look at that, guys. An absolutely gorgeous brute here. In this cold morning, we're gonna throw on the scale for y'all. I'm thinking she's probably high threes. I know y'all been asking me to get a new scale. I got one in the mail actually. We're gonna have to deal with this one for today. Three six. Three six. That is the way you want to get started out here on a cold morning. Hopefully we're gonna find a lot more like this. We're gonna get back in this corner back here. These fish are stacked up in there. That's five or six bites between all of us back there. Good fish. Let's go ahead and get her back in. Bye beautiful. You on? They're still up in there. I would imagine there'd be another decent one up in there. Yeah. Oh, ah, dang. Yeah, we might have depleted this spot. There's one. It's just a little dinky. Come here, Jimmy. Get in the boat. There we go. Fish number three, I believe. Better than the first little dinker, but definitely not nearly the size of that last fish. I mean, he's fat though. Just let I me mean, look at it. He's filled out for his size. He's got some little black markings right here on his head. Cool looking fish. All right, buddy. Later. So after those first three, it's probably a good time to kind of explain to y'all what exactly I'm doing with this underspin. I have it tied on a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader to braid 
and that is just because this water is super clear and we don't want the fish seeing that braid and getting spooked especially with the water being cold and whatnot and got tied onto this little underspin right here i believe this is probably like a quarter ounce underspin don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure that's what it is just a little small paddle tail swim bait but i'm just gonna go ahead and chuck it out here and what i'm doing with this thing is just getting as close as i can to the bank up there oh you just missed one gavin just missed one but just crawling this thing just crawling it crawling it crawling it and then i'm pausing it sometimes and sometimes i'm giving it a little little twitch and they seem to have been either biting it on the pause or the twitch so they're kind of just following it when it's just that steady slow retrieve and then as soon as i kind of do something to change it's retrieved they're reacting to it and chomping down one thing i will say guys is i'm very surprised that these fish are relating to the bank as much as they are right now as i said when the video started we had a drastic cold snap come in it probably dropped 20 25 degrees in a matter of like 36 hours or so so i thought these fish would come off the bank a little bit more but they're not which is very surprising to me oh there's one right there but uh oh we lost them but uh i don't know it's just interesting this pond isn't very deep it only gets about five feet so maybe they're just like hugging the bank for some reason just because i mean there's not really any deep water for them to go into but definitely something to consider if you're fishing ponds that are shallow they don't always move off deep when the going gets tough with the cold weather oh look at the oh there's like a there's like a five pounder right here literally right under the boat look at look at that see him see him right there that was a big fish that was probably every bit of four and a half five over to the jerk bait, see if we can get any action going on that. I have kind of used this for a while and it's been a minute since I got a bite. I'm gonna try to mix it up, see if we can't change that. Here it is, got the jerk bait tied on. Let's go ahead and give this a toss. Maybe we can get lucky on the first cast. There's one. That's all it took, three casts. And we're on the board with the jerky jerk. That's just, <laughs> just a micro though. It's a little, little baby bass, a little 10 ouncer, double digit. This jerk bait is literally half the length of this fish. This guy was being ambitious. Future giant, for sure. Man can eat. There's one. There's a bass. Give me a little tuggy. Ooh, hooked in the back. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Decent one. Decent one. Good. Definitely second best fish of the day. If not, I don't know. It might get that first fish or that first big one to run for its money. I don't think it's quite that big though. But she's hooked in the back. We're going to try to get her in real quick. And we got her. Look at that fatty. Gorgeous fish. I'm trying not to fall out of the boat. Good, good fish. She missed it, but... Hey, we still got it in the back of the head. That fish was definitely going after this bait, just probably twitched it right as she went for it. Another solid three pounder. Look how pretty this fish is, guys. Just the colors on these fish right now in this clear water are unreal. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. She's probably about three pounds. I'm gonna get the scale out just so we can get a good reading on her. I would show y'all the scale, but all y'all been commenting that y'all can't read it. I... Like I said earlier, I got one in the mail, so hopefully within the next video or two, I'll have the actual good scale that y'all can read, but I promise y'all I ain't lying to y'all about these weights. There's no reason for me to. This one is 337, another beautiful, healthy three pounder. One more last good look at her. Let's go ahead and get her back in. Here she goes, guys. She left me a little scale right here, stuck on my hook. Back to the underspin, I'm gonna try to skip it up under these trees. There's definitely some fish holding back here, but I can't quite get to it where I want with that jerk bait. So I think I'll be able to get the job done with this thing. There's one. Told you guys, skipped it right up under that tree and we're hooked up. Got a nice little chunk right here. Another solid, probably two and a half, three pounder. Just smoking these guys left and right. Some nice, oh yeah, oh yeah, she's got some girth to her. She's got some girth. Come here, big girl. That is what I'm talking about, guys. Hooked right on top of the roof of the mouth. 
just a fat, fat fish. I mean, just God, look at the gut on that girl. Just a thick girl. I'm not gonna wear, but I'm gonna say, guys, she's probably, probably right at three. Good fish. <laughs> ready to go. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe. And as always, fasten his passion. Peace out.